There have been a lot of previews released about Horizon Forbidden West. There have been so many previews of this game and I thought I, I, I got a good one for us, um, I think. I cannot imagine a world. You know that there are a lot of parallel realities, yeah? If, but this is very deep, I learned this from Marvel. There is no reality where all the five big games that are coming out in February will be great. At least one of them is going to suck. Which one will it be? Because it looks like Horizon will not be one of those that suck. Scratched the surface, but still found an incredible amount of detail in Guerrilla Games' sequel. Uh, sorry that I interrupted so much. But again, still to this day, I have not seen any footage of her being able to ride uh, No Homo and fly the, the, the flying dinosaurs. And you th guys think I'm kidding? I'm not joking. If you're not able to fly the dinosaurs, the flying ones. And if the game doesn't give me that sort of verticality, I'm going to mention it in my review and it's going to be a major letdown of that game. Major, major, major letdown. Especially because how much they hinted towards it in the past trailers. Aloy's world is brought to life in much more vivid detail with improved animation, new machines, and evolved combat. I could see this game being a seven. So <laughs> now, nah, but... Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on, stop the intro. Stop it. I really don't think they will be flying. If you can climb and ride so many of the dinosaurs, but not the flying ones, what a fucking missed opportunity. Holy shit. If, the, if that's not in the game, that I can almost guarantee was cut content, but it was in the game originally, 100%. But if that's not in the game, I'm going to be so... I'm going to stab something. Fuck. Climbing is much more free and open in Forbidden West than it was in Zero Dawn. That's Dog. good. Not every single inch of every surface is climbable, but far more of it is, making traversal so much smoother in the sequel. You can use your focus to temporarily highlight climbable portions of the environment. This reminds me so much of Death Stranding. You know, Death Stranding, we had the scanner. How do you know I'm a scammer? Yeah, I wonder how much freedom this is really going to give you. There are some points you'll see both in and out of the focus that you'll use the pull caster. This new bit of Aloy's equipment loadout can pull her from much further away to grasp onto a ledge. It's used like a double jump where you hit X again in the air to Kind of like Sekiro, huh? You can also pull cast out of a glide using the new shield wing. Oh, so this, I mean, this is... Cliff ...and realize there's a spot a little above you... I, this is, this is, this is great. This is great. But I feel like every game needs this now, after Breath of the Wild and Fortnite. In fact, the developers ensure that all of these major tools... But it's great. I, I love a glider. One of the things is there's just a lot more verticality to this world. Shoot. There must be flying. There just must be. There must the be. We really, there was a new forms of exploration, new things to explore, and just a whole new kind of geometry there. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm, now I'm reminded again. I'm so pissed I have to play this on PlayStation. Why can't it just come out on PC, bro? I'm scared that the gliding will be the same game, will be the game's replacement for flying, or they just won't say you can fly until the game comes out. I, that would be... If they save that for the reveal trailer, Harlequin, that would be marketing like, mwah, mwah. like on the, on the on, not the reveal trailer, the the release trailer, right? There's always a final trailer when the game releases, and on that trailer they show you, bomb, you can fly now. She. Players can now invest in six different skill trees with the points they earn. These include warrior, trapper, hunter, survivor, infiltrator, and machine master. Valor surges will be unlocked by choosing specific abilities surrounding a surge on any given tree. Dude, these fucking Final Fantasy first. animations. I like Aloy it. Aloy can now upgrade equipment at workbenches in the environment. It sounds a bit bloated of a system. Maybe. I played the first Horizon maybe like 10 hours. I don't think its progression and equipment system was one of its strength. strengths. Like, I think for God of War, somehow it worked really well. I love it there. But in Horizon, I didn't love it. I also didn't hate it, but it was just um, whatever. How long till it comes to PC? Maybe you're kidding, but the uh, NVIDIA leak actually mentioned Horizon Forbidden West for PC, and it said something like, um, I think September or something. This year. Bristlebacks are a new machine type as well, akin to the Chargers, but they have acid True canisters breaks. on their backs. Spiking those with an acid arrow is the key to victory. The Slither Fang, which we did not fight in the wild and only saw in Yeah, Jube, I agree, 100%. ...has a variety of attacks, including the ability to burrow underground and leap back up somewhere else, as well as shoot lightning from its tail, and even electrify... Oh, dude, look at this enemy type, man. A fucking snake, bro. Amazing. ...vastly improved. Some of the highlights include... Yeah, melee combat also wasn't great. ...the resonator blast to charge up Aloy's weapon, strike an enemy and imbue them with energy, and then cause a massive amount of damage with an arrow aimed at that specific spot. Players will be able to test their melee skills in melee pits... Oh, look how crisp it is, man! Fuck! 
The arena is a large, optional side attraction for players to engage in. Complete challenges against various different machines and do I so like it. I love arenas. To the arena. Quick Ever quick. since Oblivion. You can also compete with friends arena is my vibe. For the best times. Bro, I just want to say I'm so happy to stream right now. I fucking oh. love streaming. It's so much fun. Peace and love. The biggest and baddest machines. We're going to let that happen. The arena is like a great example of that. We can actually do it repeatedly. Uh, uh. Aloy's journey picks up roughly six months after the end of Horizon Zero Dawn. Her main quest, of course, is to stop the red blight that is seemingly infecting the world as she hopes to prevent another mass extinction of humanity. Oh, how? Sometimes I look at footage of this game and I'm like, how fucking big is this world? Biomes usually transition into each other very gently in order to be immersive, but it, it's everything seems so enormous. I, I just, I'm, I... I'm, I'm can't wait. Aloy believes she can find answers. Oh yeah, the armor looks way better. Aloy will meet the new antagonist Regala early on. I love that design so much, man. Man, respect. Shout out to the family of all artists out there. The jaw is a double chainsaw. This is the, uh, so, so shout out to all artists, man. And without spoiling it in detail as well, she has quite the memorable, frightening So fucking cool. Fuck. You reach your capacity for health berries, which was ten of them during the early portion I played. You can collect even more. I mean, I mean, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Like, can I go up here? And also, the problem is if you if they really allow for flying, like legit free flying on the flying dinosaurs, then the map has to be. S there are several options you have as a game designer. You either make it a big island. So, right, like GTA, where you can fly, there's just water outside. Or you limit the flight height that you can achieve and make an invisible wall. <laughs> but dude, I'm an island boy. Yeah. Yeah, but mount mountains don't limit you, Salami, if you can fly, unless you make an invisible wall that you can't fly over. Out of bounds, turn around in X seconds. Oh, that reminds me of Battlefield. Battlefield 2044 did that way back. I played it in German. Du verlässt das Gebiet. Oder irgendwie so. You're leaving the area. For example, an early mission in the Chain Scrape settlement rewards players a brand new type of weapon, the explosive javelin thrower. The game is so mid, why are you hype for it? I'm not falling for your bait again, John Gotti, you fucking pussy clot. A new side quest includes a series of melee pits. The first is in oh, hell Street, yes! find more in the Forbidden West. Oh. They'll train you on new combat techniques. And I have a, what's it called, a soft spot? I have a soft spot for arenas in video games. I loved it in Oblivion. I loved it, loved it. Even though it was so under its potential, man, sleeping dogs, that was one of my favorite things to do, is to go to every fight club and fuck them all up. I wish the fight clubs there were, were done a bit better, but dude, arenas are just the best. Or in Assass Assassin's Creed Origins. Had a great arena. Far Cry 4 also, yes. God of War? Ah, you mean Nilfa and Milfheim and Muspel. Yes. Yo, they're awesome. They're kind of my favorite part of the game, in a way. Players will see part of an image corresponding to a location from the Dude, old this, world. Dude, this is, this is fucking amazing. This is... Uh, oh, I love this. Like, when did this turn into a beautiful world? Somewhere inside there, you hear, <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> to line up with a spot in Aloy's timeline. Horizon's denizens have their own board game called Machine Strike, and it is a lot of fun. I want to see that board game. I heard about that. One v one game. There can be advantages and disadvantages based on where the armor of your machine is located as well and while in the games we played we only had two look at it look at this with. this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about they showed this in several of the other trailers already honestly if there is no flying of these things remove they should have removed them all together I, I, I honestly think that this is like a this is i think caesar would call this a false positive in a video game and false positives are not good it's when the, the messaging of a game is consistent, but and to teach you something, but suddenly it's inconsistent. For example, I'm gonna give you an example. Whether Caesar explained to me, a false positive in a video game is you see a wall, and in this or in this game, a lot of times when you're when you're climbing up a building, there are pipes on buildings that you can climb up, like in Hitman. In Hitman, a lot of times to scale a building, you look for these what are they, the, the you know what I mean, the water pipes, and you climb them up. So you're teaching the player water pipe means you can climb it, and then suddenly in another level, there's one water pipe where suddenly that you can't climb for no reason. This is a false positive. It's bad game design. So now in a game like Horizon, where the player can ride these machines, ride the machines, and you constantly talk about talking about verticality. verticality. And then you give me this thing where it's not unreasonable, unreasonable for me to assume I can ride this. This is a false positive. And I think one with very big implications. And this is just, if I can ride this, then what's the point? Remove them, cut and them from the game. Only use two machines. You'll be able to unlock more and build up a Wait, wait, wait. I thought, I thought for a moment I saw someone there. You became with a form of low-flying enemy type. What do you mean low-flying enemy type? I want to ride 
Cause I'm a rider, satisfier. Uh, bring the heat, girl. I'm a bring the fire. Nah, there were other flying machines in the first game. Your point is mute. Uh, but this game has way more verticality. Verticality is very much a key selling point of this game. They always talk about verticality, about how high the buildings are, and you have a glider, and there's so much air time. And then there are several moments where they just show really, like, point blank, show those new flying things. I just, it would be so good. And even check out a gameplay comparison about how Forbidden West is stacking up to Zero Dawn. And for everything else in the world- Man, they both look so good. Horizon, you're already in the right place. IGN. IGN. Okay, I like it. It sounds incredibly promising. Fucking epic. All right. Um, new trailer has come out. New trailer has come out. Four, you'll see. Unfortunately, still no motherfucking release date. Man, I hope the NVIDIA leak was right. The NVIDIA leak said like end of March or something like that. Bro, I went, I want this game so much. Fuck, I'm here. Yeah, it's C4 1944. It's a prequel. You will solve the Nazi war machine. Crush everything in their path. Bro, I literally had the dream once of having like a Hitman map that plays in some Eriglis. Dude, dude, this is just... Oh! Can we please get a map in like Strasbourg and shit? Oh god. Oh yes. Sam Eriglis is just so epic. Fast, relentless, ruthless. Sniper leaders, anyways, it's like Hitman but with guns. Destroy, casting wow, man. Shadow across mainland. Living, fighting, and killing in the shadows. Oh, it's gonna be much more. Oh, the whole climbing, man. In, in, in Sniper Elite 4, they tried to like cock tease us. Oh, you can climb more. Ah, not really. It was still not really. I feel like these are like developers who are always very ambitious, but they, they don't really have AAA budget, so they can't innovate that much. And they kind of innovate in the wrong directions usually. It's like one of those developers that just need a slap on the neck. They step into the face of impossible odds. We shall smile and see an opportunity. Like, is this gonna be possible? Like, what does that mean? Like, uh, uh, usually trailers are supposed to give you a feeling of what's possible in the of what's possible in the game. Even when it's cinematic trailers, it's supposed to give you like a vibe and hint certain uh, mechanics. But we know the risks. It means nothing is cinematic bullshit. Then you understand nothing about cinematic trailers, my friend. Cinematic trailers are absolutely supposed to give the player a sort of general idea of what the vibe of the game is and even introduce, subtly introduce certain mechanics to the player. Absolutely, that's the case. For example, for fucking morons in chat here. When I saw this here, as an experienced gamer and someone who understands, who can read cinematic trailers, this year, this here means that there will be climbing in the game. That's how you show that to the player. This is how you introduce features, you fucking morons. Be ready. Cinematic trailers absolutely hint features. To make that sacrifice. <laughs> you know what? You know what sound effect we could need we would need right now? <laughs> what a stupid, stupid son song. of a bitch. Great. A grape, um, but uh, yeah, this is this wallpaper here is confusing. Like, what the fuck? We got okay. Oh my god, is this gonna have a Norman? No. Are we gonna get a Norman? Yeah, we must get a Norman. Oh my god, I just realized France is in Normandy. Uh, Normandy's in France. Sorry. Oh my god, are we gonna get Normandy D-Day or Maha bitch? Okay, let's go. I hope so, bro. Maybe Battlefield 1944 is the reason, but I can never get enough of fucking Omaha Beach shit. It's just the coolest fucking setting. I just love it. The, the, the storming the beach and then the, the Maybe because I watched Saving Private Ryan when I was like eight years old and I just thought it was epic. Honestly, I'm bored of World War II. How old are you? Because I had this phase too. I had the phase, you know, when I thought World War II was a really cool setting. Then I had the phase when I thought it was super boring. And now I'm in like a phase where I'm like, whatever, as long as the game is good. I'm honestly more, way more bored and annoyed by the futuristic settings. I fucking, I hate these Future settings so much. The advanced warfare, jetpack, wall run shit, f generic ass weapons. I hate that so fucking much. I thought that stuff was cool for maybe a year. And then I was like, I, I can't see this anymore. Oh God, it's the worst. But anyways, uh, still 2022. The Nvidia leak said, I think March, but considering that was old and COVID delays and stuff, I'm guessing this might be a summer game that we get to play this summer. Maybe, maybe August. If we, if we ha have, if we have a pretty, pretty tough, Delay? Nowadays you never know, man. With the fucking delays, you never know. Ever since, ever since Stalker 2 and and, and Saints Row got delayed, uh, got delayed by like eight months, dude. You never know.
But I hope it does. But da. She. She. Anyways, people, I have the lights fixed. The lights are epic. Look at this. Guten Abend, Guten Nacht, du reiner Hurensohn. Ich schicke deine Mutter in den Arsch. Damn, this is, this is nice. Why is it purple? Peace out, guys. Morgen früh.